Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. I'm going to try to give you a pretty thorough overview of this article, of this crime, of this situation. There is a link in the description. I'll start off by giving you an overview, but I will scroll through the details to make sure I give you all of the important and correct details. It's in regards to the death of the young boy that you see in front of you. His name is Kion Jones. He died at the age of two months old. Uh, and he died in or around May the 5th, 2021, so very close to a year ago today. He died uh, because, fundamentally, the mother, his mother, whose name is Ladonia Boggs, 38 years of age, um, was a drug addict, and she was high on PCP, and she slept and seemingly rolled over Kion Jones or rolled onto Kion Jones when she awoke she discovered Kion dead uh, she, he presumably had been smothered he wasn't breathing he had died on or around May the 5th 2021 we're gonna see we're gonna watch this video clip here we're just gonna watch the first 40 seconds or so uh, out of the mother telling a news reporter um what happened and it will just reaffirm what i've just stated there and uh so let's watch that and then i'll fill you in with the remainder aspects of the story i still noticed that he wasn't breathing anymore so i went outside i came back in the house and got a blanket and his car seat and wrapped up and took it outside and disposed of it in the trash. Disposed. And that's what yeah, that's what happened. She disposed of her two month old baby boy's body. Uh the boy died after she fell asleep on top of him due to being high on PCP. She disposed of him in the trash. Um, the body was never recovered. There was a search within Vir the Virginia landfill for Kion Jones, but uh, they weren't able to successfully find the body. Um, so he's lost in a landfill the police initially accused the mother of felony murder but uh, essentially that charge was dropped uh, prosecutors pursued a tampering with evidence charged and she was released without bail so I don't know exactly when she uh, performed this interview with the news Fox 5 um, but uh, it seemingly it was some time ago and she was free. She was released without bail. She was facing a fairly light charge, tampering with evidence. A fairly light charge, certainly a lot lighter than murder or such or negligence leading to the, the death of a child. Far too light a sentence. Why are we looking at this story at this point? Well, the reason is because she has been murdered. Uh, as of Wednesday, uh, last last Wednesday, so about a week ago from now, uh, she was murdered. Uh, she was found um, with an apparent stab wound, perhaps just one stab wound. And she was found uh, by police officers that res re uh, responded to a report of a stabbing uh, in the area of Washington, D.C., um, it was clear that she was not displaying any signs of life. She was dead on the scene. The father of the two-month-old boy that was killed, uh, Carl Jones, 44 years of age, um, has been arrested and charged with second-degree murder while armed in regards to the stabbing murder of the mother, Ladonia Boggs. 
the the investigation is still ongoing the investigation is being viewed as domestic violence um initially initially um in in and around the time of may the 5th last year 2021 the mother had told the father carl jones that the baby boy two month old uh kion jones kion jones uh had been taken by child protective services so the father contacted child protective services or rather the national center for children and families at which point they turned around and said no sir no sir your son is still with the mother there's no issue there's there's not been any cause for child protective services to take any action or to get involved your son is still with your mother so that's what the father was led to believe and so it wasn't until later that uh, the mother admitted to having been responsible for the death of her two-year-old son um, and seemingly and seemingly this has hurt the father carl jones immensely and almost a year later he's taken his retribution he's stabbed allegedly sorry allegedly stabbed the mother uh, to death and that really is the details of this story here um i mean it is tragic what a mess am i using the wrong words here am i downplaying things too much what a mess i mean this is horrendous to have killed a two-month-old baby boy through negligence um due to drug use dr due to drug addiction uh so that's horrendous discarding of the body is disgusting and despicable not being adequately charged for the crime of both um killing or or, or uh, allowing the death of a child due to negligence or whatever the appropriate charge would have been not moving forward with that is terrible uh the washington dc authorities have let themselves down in that regard um releasing the mother on bail doesn't seem the right thing to me either you know she's responsible for the death of her two two month old child how does she get to get away on uh, to to get out on bail i think it's perfectly understandable for the father to be distraught but of course i'm not going to condone the murder of the mother i'm not going to say it's the worst crime in the world i mean some people might say she had it coming to her some people might say she gets what she deserves she got what she deserved i'm not going to argue with them okay i admit it i feel that way too i think she did get what she deserves um and it's a mess it's a mess it's a disgusting despicable mess and that's something that happened uh, of course condolences go to the the victim of the two-month-old innocent child kion jones who never had a life he had his life taken away before it started due to drugs essentially due to the ne negligence of his mother that's the one that i feel sorry for i don't feel sorry for the more recent victim the um the mother ladonia bogs I'm, I'm not going to feel too much sympathy for her i'm afraid um and the father i don't know what do we think about the father I mean, he's committed murder that's not good we can understand his hurt and his anger we can understand that i don't think we can condone the murder however i would imagine i would imagine that in sentencing the situation in regards to the death of his son is going to or, or ought to play a big part in sentencing he ought to be given a relatively lenient lenient sentence presuming that he doesn't have any long-term career history 
or previous acts of violence or such. If that's the case, uh, if anyone's going to get a, a lenient lenient sentence, I'd be thinking and perhaps hoping that he does. That's what would be my thoughts, presuming that he's acted out of anger due to the death of his two-month-old son at the hands of this stupid, negligent, evil, drug-using mother. Should she be given a pass because she's a victim of drug abuse? No. I mean, she chose to take the drugs, so, you know, she's got to face those consequences. She did face those consequences. I'm going to wrap things up here. Uh, if you do see value in this type of topic, please do show me some encouragement, which a lot of you do. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for listening. Thanks for your comments. I love your comments. We all love your comments. Thank you for sticking around and being a part of this community, giving me company, giving me a little bit of interaction. Thanks for that. I'm going to carry on making videos. Maybe I'll do as much as I want. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll uh, fall behind every now and then. But either way, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's what happens, you know. Um, I'll thank you for your time again. Take care. Look after yourselves. Look after your loved ones. If you have any newborn babies, look after them. Steer, steer away from drugs. I mean, am I being trite at this point? Am I being silly at this point? I'm just trying to throw in a few kind words and a few wise words, perhaps. Stay away from drugs, guys. Um hard drugs drugs which are going to zombify you stay away from them and if you have a partner or a relative or a family member or a friend or such that um is involved with heavy drugs hard drugs that fucks up their mentality even if on a temporary basis steer clear of them guys they're not good people well they may be good people but they are doing bad things and they are them the individual plus the drugs equals not a good person um so if they are indulging then you need to protect yourself and your children and steer clear uh those are my trite words for this time stay tuned for more take care guys thank you bye now